This is the Allegro Giusto on page 37, it's number 93. Um, this is a fast-paced, very interesting, technically challenging piece. Uh, several little bits to work out, I'll take you through a few of them and then I'll play it for you again. So this is the Allegro Giusto is a very fast, as it says, fast, lively piece with fire. Um, this is a, a more aggressive, uh, quick technical piece. You want this the tempo to be very brisk but not so much that you can't play it. Uh, fingering is an issue. Um, a few leaps here and there, but mostly the issue is getting the fingers lined up in five flats. So that from the very beginning, I use the trigger open for this F. Trigger one and two, trigger two and three, and trigger one, the standard fingerings. And staying on the B flat side, I'll use the open trigger fingering again, the B flat side fingering again here, so that we stay on the trigger on the B flat side for basically this entire first passage. Uh, what that does is it prevents the bobbles that happen when we move back and forth between the F and B flat side. That will help a lot with accuracy. Um, some other places here as we come down, I'm actually using second on the F side for this figure here from the G flat to E flat, but I'm playing trigger two and three trigger open, two and three, open, and two and three on the B flat side for this last measure. Uh, again here I'm going to stay on the B flat side using the open, two and three, one, and open fingering, uh, one for the E flat so that I stay on the B flat side, don't have to mess with the thumb. It also helps some with accuracy down there and the B flat side when we're articulating is going to pop just a little bit more. It has a more immediate response, which we like because there's a lot of staccato passages in here. As you can see, most of the phrases include several staccato notes. Uh, you have to watch the contrast of slurred and staccato notes as well as several places where you're playing staccato da 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 These are accented notes are long, not staccato, so be careful there. Um, a, uh, similar things here, you can use, again, alternate fingerings to make this a lot easier. Um, tr standard fingering is trigger 2 and 3, trigger open, trigger 1, open, trigger 2 and 3 for the A flat, use the trigger 1 for the low E flat, and trigger open, and then trigger 2 and 3 for the low E flat. So you stay on the B flat side for this whole thing, and that works out quite nicely. Uh, the same thing, uh, you know, here you could use alternate fingerings coming down in this arpeggio. I was actually playing these bottom notes on the F side, and uh, to me that works fine. But, you know, for security, if you want to use the B flat side there as well. Uh, realize that when you get this piece in auditions, you may be asked to play, say, from the double bar, taking the DS into the fine. You may be asked to play from the beginning and stop before the DS. It's unlikely you'll be asked to do the whole thing. So you might practice it some different ways, but be aware of the roadmap. There is that DS going back to the beginning and ending at the fine. Uh, both times, presumably, you have the instruction morindo, which is dying away. So this should be getting slightly softer as you come into the piano section. And then, of course, at the end, it's just getting slightly softer and ends a little bit softer. So this is a piece that's starting out a little more aggressive at the beginning of the phrase, and then has this nice soft section in the middle, which is still intense, still very precise and articulate, but, but just a little bit quieter. It's like you're shouting in a whisper uh, kind of texture. So a very challenging piece. Start it slow and gradually work up so that the fingers have time to uh, accommodate themselves to, uh, to uh, the, the key signature. And good luck. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you.